Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about how long it takes for I-130 family petitions to be processed in 2024. This is a big deal in the world of immigration. Something amazing has happened with processing times, especially in the eastern part of the United States. We'll tell you all about it. This change isn't just about waiting less time. It's a really big deal for families going through the immigration process. Stick around to find out why this happened, how it happened, and what it means for you this year. Make sure to pay attention and watch the whole video to get all the details. Let's dive in. Exciting news is happening because the eastern part of the United States is working hard to speed up how quickly they process family-based petitions. This change will affect cases happening in 2024, and we're here to explain what's going on, make some guesses about what might happen, and help you understand the changes. The USCIS, which is the organization in charge of immigration stuff, is trying to make the I-130 processing time faster. They've set some goals for themselves to try to deal with a big backlog of about 9.5 million cases that build up at the start of the year. These goals are like targets they want to hit for how quickly they process different kinds of petitions. The USCIS wants to be more accountable, give people realistic ideas of how long things will take and find ways to make processing times shorter. Key factors influencing processing times. As a plan, the USCIS has created goals for how quickly they want to process certain requests, like work permits I-765 and travel documents I-131, aiming to finish them in three months or less. This started in the early spring and it seems to be working well, as many applications are getting processed quicker. Also, They've made it possible for people to pay extra money to speed up their applications, which is called premium processing, and now it applies to more types of applications. Challenges in I-130 processing times. But it's important to know that you can't pay extra money to speed up I-130 family petitions. Depending on the type, these petitions can take many years to process, which can be really frustrating for people waiting for a decision. To tackle this problem, the USCIS is working harder, hiring more people to handle cases, and encouraging the use of digital applications to make things go smoother. Guide to Checking I-130 Processing Times To see how long it might take for your I-130 application to get processed, just do these easy things. Go to the USCIS website, find where it says I-130 Petition, pick the right category, and select the service center handling your case. They'll show you a number in months which gives you an idea of how long it could take for your application to get approved. Comparative analysis of I-130 processing times. Let's talk about a comparative analysis of I-130 processing times for various categories from November onwards. F1 category. Unmarried sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. November. Approximately 4.3 years. Now. Reduced to 4 years. F2A category. Spouses of green card holders and children under 21. November. Around 3.2 years. Now. Decreased to 2.8 years. F2B category. Unmarried sons or daughters of green card holders. November. Approximately 4.5 years. Now. Reduced to 4.2 years. F3 category. Married sons and daughters of U.S. citizens. November. Data not provided. Now. Insights not available. Predictions for 2024. Even though the decrease in processing times might seem small, they actually show good things are happening. As we move into January, February, and March of 2024, it's likely that things will keep speeding up, which gives hope to people waiting for their applications to be approved. To sum up, the USCIS is working hard to make I-130 family petitions get processed faster, which makes applicants feel hopeful. By keeping track of processing times and staying informed, people can understand the immigration process better. We'll keep you updated on any changes that happen, so you'll know what's going on with immigration processing. Here is a video containing all the latest immigration changes in the US in 2024. Do watch it.